Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel here at Doom Productions. Today, we're talking five directing tips that'll help out our fellow no-budget film directors. Yeah, and that first tip is have a plan. Before you even set foot on your set, you should know what the day is gonna hold. You should know what actors are gonna be there, what scenes you're covering, where the crew needs to be, and what they need to pull off to make sure your shoot moves smoothly. And if anyone asks you and you don't know what your plan is, don't let anyone else know what you're, that you don't know. Yeah, you always should have confidence in what you're doing, even if on the inside you do not. Tip number two, be nice. It's a simple one, but a lot of people forget. When you're making a movie, it can be really stressful, and that stress can go into other things and bleed into other areas of work, and you don't want that because no one wants to go to make a movie and everyone's miserable, the director's angry. Check your ego at the door. This is not about you. This is about you working together with your crew and making sure everyone has a good time making this project. Yes, there is a goal, but not at the ex it shouldn't be at the expense of having fun or just being a good person to other people. And if you're working with a crew, chances are when you're doing low budget or no budget, you're not paying your crew. So they're volunteering their time to work with you. So, you know, show them a lot of respect and courtesy because that'll make them want to work with you again in the future. Our third tip is be sure to communicate clearly. When you are talking to your crew on set, uh, you should be briefing them at the start of each day or even at the start of each new scene that you're going through about what needs to happen. Uh, take questions as often as possible. And again, just be really courteous with your time and make sure that you're um, really taking care of everyone's needs on set. Cause that's kind of your role as the leaders to make sure everyone knows what they need to do. Don't go back and forth on what you want. Mm -hmm. If you like make a decision, be clear about it. Take a moment to think about it before you say something. I know sometimes it feels like you need to give an answer right away, but take a moment, think clearly, and then give your response. Tip number four, be prepared to wear many hats. I know in Hollywood, what they do is they have a different person who is in charge of each different job. So you have someone who does the lights, someone who does the food, someone who does the sound, all that kind of stuff. As a no budget filmmaker, you have to do a lot of those jobs yourself and with your crew. So be prepared to show up and hang some lights. Be prepared to set up the set decoration. You're gonna be having to juggle lots of different things, especially when you have no money. So just be prepared for that. And our final fifth tip is keep your cool. On every film set ever, something goes wrong. Something always goes wrong. You should be prepared just to not panic, not lose your cool with your to your crew or to yourself or to get frustrated. You should be able to just take a step back, assess what needs to happen in order to get the day done and execute on that. It can be really stressful, it's tiring. You probably got up really early, you probably were up really late getting ready for this shoot and it's hard. But the more practice you have in dealing with little problems that come up on set, the easier it's gonna to be to handle the big problems that come up. I like to pull from Bruce Lee. This helps you, this helps out in all elements of life, not just filmmaking and directing, but be like water. I said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. This is just a taste of what it's like to be a director and the kind of skills you'll need to have to be successful on set. So get out there, start practicing, make your movies, but just make sure ultimately you are kind and courteous to your crew. But with that, go out there, make your movie, subscribe down below, and we'll see you on the next video.